Hello Flaster, it's me. Just an update because we've got a little couple of projects on the go and I made some purchases recently. Excuse <laughs> not just them. <laughs> but anyway, the first thing is the community garden logo. Before I actually show that. Just a reminder of what the full thing looks like. Sorry about that. That's the full logo right there. So, yeah. Can I please stop knocking the microphone? <laughs> so, yeah, my progress update is this. Apologies if angles are all weird. I'm trying to get it so it actually shows up. Every time I try and hold it forward, it goes lower down. So, I'm going to keep doing that. So yeah, that's my progress so far. It's the top right corner and the letters that are showing are actually part of the Gaelic word for garden. So <laughs> that's that so far. I've got page two marked out ready. And as you can see from the blue lines. I'm using my new blue pens as the page markers, you know, the dividers. Still using the pink ones. I'm now using them for you know, the vertical lines. I also now have purple markers that I'm using for the horizontal lines. And in the bag I've got the three main colours I'm using. The green, the white and the brown. That's that. My next thing, I need to grab my tablet for this. Oops, flip around, please. Although I've not worked on my sheep picture, still. I did actually put it on some of my bars, the wooden bar frames. So okay. I don't know what it's back on the home page. Well, this shows up well because it likes to keep turning out or flipping pages. So there's my next picture. It's the picture bendy running. In fact, I've also done it as a digital pattern. So it'll be in one of my previous time lapse videos. I'm currently working on the top right corner. Okay, I'll get And my progress with the original Ink Demon, <laughs> as the game describes them is that top right corner and I'm doing it although I've got it marked out for basically column wise diagonal I'm just doing a block because I did actually do the initial column up here so basically half that first block and I was like nah so I filled in the rest of the block and then I've just been working 100 square blocks well, I'll find it easier that way Besides, at the moment it's only two, just like the Community Garden logo, it's only like two or three colours that's in use, so it's easy enough to swap between them. And again, I've got the blue for page divides, pink pen for vertical grids, and purple for horizontal. And once again, they don't really show up well, as in the difference between the latter two. But. I know the difference. <laughs> and one other thing is the top and bottom bars are 18 inches and they're new purchase. You get them in packs of two so you get like a pair of that size bar. I actually bought two pairs because I was originally going to do this as an 18 inch square because it would be a 14 inch square power and I thought that would be great. I can just have the whole thing display 
and work with it, but I had trouble like holding it, and in turn I also had trouble trying to reach round the back with my other hand. So, and when I tried switching hands, I just couldn't grip the needle. So instead of using the 18s on the sides, I've dropped down to my nines. <laughs> Very convenient. But that other pair of 18s didn't just get chucked away or anything, obviously, because they're a brand new purchase. They're right here. So yeah, as you can tell, this is us going into the purchases now. Got a pair of eight, the other pair of 18s. And although it's awkward to see, there is actually holes on them for me, actually. There's holes on that side and that side from when I was doing the, eight, you know, trying to do the 18 by 18. <laughs> so yeah, I've got some more bar frames, in fact. My... When I was looking through my bag of bar frames previously, I noticed that a pair of sixes and a pair of fours were missing. So I'm guessing that I've got a six by four frame made somewhere. <laughs> or at least the bars that were used to make up the frame somewhere. And I'm wondering if that was the one I was using previously for the sheet pictures. But at the moment the one that I'm you know, that I've been working on, I've got that on a seven by eight. So, or 8 by 7, sorry. Could it being 70 across and 50 up. So, yeah, in terms of blocks. <laughs> I had to get replacements. So, here's the pair of 6 inch bars. And that's the pair of 4 inch bars. So, I can now do 6 inch squared or. 4 inch squared or somewhere in between you know, what poles so that's them and this is the bag I keep them all in <laughs> again it's when I was looking through the bag looking through the bag previously that I noticed that yeah they were missing needed replaced <laughs> so Anyway, as I was like with the bags, I got different bags. Here's my new pack of bags. Obviously, to s attach the fabric to the frames, I needed some more drawing pins because all mine went missing. I did actually have a tub of them, but they're probably in storage, no my luck. And the tape that's around them. My stepdad let me use it. I'm not sure you can tell from the picture, but it's basically that's the tape you stick on the wall so paint don't run while you're trying to do straight lines. <laughs> or like say you're trying to do a mix of paint and paper or whatever, just so it won't run off into anything else wherever you want it. So that's it for the cross stitch purchases. But I do have other purchases. First off, we got Ink Bendy from the Bendy and Ink Machine video game. The one that I showed off in the previous floss tube. <laughs> Stitch along. That's the guy that shows up at various intervals. Normally the end of a chapter. I recently got that arrived through the mail. I've seen it four times. Highly recommend it for anyone that's got family members or they themselves a Pokemon fan. Good for it's got Ryan Reynolds in it for anyone that's a fan of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Does a very good job. I do actually have the live action version of Disney's Aladdin on DVD, but I'm waiting for that to arrive. <laughs> it's been ordered, it's not arrived yet. They were ordered at the same time, but just whenever they're available, I suppose. And. Is it. Well, I did say before that was the end of all the cross stitch stuff. I told a lie. There's a couple of the pens, the others are in the draw with the rest of my markers, so all three colours. <laughs> but yeah, the final purchase was made yesterday. 
and it was a donation so I can get this year's poppy. Normally I'd get the red ones because that's just a standard but apparently this year they were doing purple ones for you know, rem remembering various animals that were lost during the wars. So Because Remembrance Day is Monday, Remembrance Sunday is obviously this Sunday coming <laughs> as a result. So I'll be wearing that. The 11th minute, the 11th hour, the 11th day. Was it? No, no, no. 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Yeah. 11, 11, 11. <laughs> yeah. That's when the UK ce celebrates Remembrance Day. So it's the 11th of the 11th. At 11 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Because I've actually been using the green zip bags recently. Because that's all the flosses for the bendy picture. The main bulk of flosses for the garden picture, aka the 20 plus colours, just for that one apple that was hanging off the tree, is in a bag over there. The As I've shown, there's the bag that's got the three for the actual community garden picture. So. And they're here somewhere. There it is. This is the sheep picture, the last one that I was working on. The picture itself is there. There's all the flosses that came with it. Hopefully that they won't run out. And it'd be awkward to see because I've got the bit where I've written on it. But there's the actual thing itself. Again, no progress. Oh, that went in. Sorry. No progress has been made, but as you can see, it's on the seven, no, seven by eight bars, but yes, yeah, seven and eight inch bars. And again, I've marked it the blue for the border and page divide, pink lines going down, and purple going across. <laughs> yeah, that's it all sorted out and gridded. So yeah, that's it for the actual showing things off, I suppose, on to the stitching. And I'll uh, talk again when finished. So. Sega!
Yeah.